Removing and replacing parts. HP Pro C640 G2 Chromebook. How to replace the base enclosure. Removal. Remove the four longer P1 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. Remove the three shorter P1 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. Use a flat edge tool to detach and remove the base enclosure. Replacement. Place the base enclosure into position over the top cover and press down firmly along the edges to reattach the base enclosure to the top cover. Replace the three shorter P1 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. Replace the four longer P1 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. How to replace the battery. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure. Warning, to avoid personal injury and damage to the product, use extreme care not to puncture, twist, or crack the battery. An internal puncture or rupture to the battery has the potential to cause a short, which may result in a thermal event. Removal. Disconnect the battery cable from its connector on the system board. Remove the five P1 Phillips head screws that secure the battery to the top cover. Lift the battery off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Replacement. Place the battery on the alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the five P1 Phillips head screws that secure the battery to the top cover. Reconnect the battery cable to its connector on the system board. How to replace the M.2 solid state drive. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and disconnect the battery. Removal. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the M.2 solid state drive to the system board. Grasp the M.2 solid state drive by the edges and pull gently to remove it. Replacement. Align the notch in the M.2 solid state drive with the key in the M.2 solid state drive slot on the system board. Gently insert the M.2 solid state drive into its slot on the system board. Replace the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the M.2 solid state drive to the system board. How to replace the speakers. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. Important, make careful note of the routing of the speaker cable for later replacement. Disconnect the speaker cable from its connector on the system board. Remove the mylar that covers the speaker cable and touchpad. Using minimal force, Lift the locking bar up on the touchpad board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad board ribbon cable from the touchpad board. Remove the speaker cable from the tape and routing channel that secure it to the top cover. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the speakers to the top cover. Lift the speakers off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Replacement.
place the speakers onto the alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the speakers to the top cover. Replace the speaker cable to the tape and routing channel that secure it to the top cover. Reconnect the touchpad board ribbon cable to its ZIF connector on the touchpad board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Replace the mylar that covers the speaker cable and touchpad. Reconnect the speaker cable to its connector on the system board. How to replace the touchpad. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, and speakers. Removal. Remove the transparent shielding that covers the touchpad ZIF connector and cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad ribbon cable from the touchpad. Remove the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad bracket to the top cover. Lift the touchpad bracket off of the alignment pins and remove. Push back the black mylar tape that partially covers the touchpad. Remove the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad to the top cover. Slide the touchpad out and off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Replacement. Move the touchpad cable out of the way and slide the touchpad into position on the top cover. Replace the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad to the top cover. Replace the mylar shielding that partially covers the touchpad. Place the touchpad bracket on the alignment pins on the top cover. Replace the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the touchpad bracket to the top cover. Insert the touchpad ribbon cable into its ZIF connector on the touchpad board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Replace the transparent tape that covers the touchpad board ZIF connector and cable. How to replace the fingerprint reader. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, and M.2 solid state drive. Removal. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the fingerprint reader bracket to the top cover. Remove the fingerprint reader bracket from its alignment pin on the top cover. Peel back the mylar and use minimal force to lift the locking bar up and disconnect the fingerprint reader ribbon cable from its ZIF connector on the system board. Carefully remove the fingerprint reader from the adhesive that secures it to the top cover. Remove the fingerprint reader. Replacement. Place the fingerprint reader into its cutout on the top cover. Press down on the fingerprint reader to adhere it to the top cover. Insert the fingerprint reader ribbon cable into its ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Replace the mylar that covers the fingerprint reader ribbon cable ZIF connector on the system board. Place the fingerprint reader bracket on its alignment pin on the top cover. Replace the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the fingerprint reader bracket to the top cover. How to replace the system fan. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure and battery. Removal. 
Disconnect the system fan cable from its connector on the system board. Remove the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system fan to the top cover. Lift the system fan off of its alignment pins and remove. Replacement. Place the system fan in position over its screw holes. Replace the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system fan to the top cover. Reconnect the system fan cable to its connector on the system board. How to replace the USB board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, and system fan. Removal. Remove the mylar that covers the USB board ZIF connectors. Using minimal force, lift the locking bars up and disconnect the two USB board ribbon cables from their ZIF connectors on the USB board. Remove the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the USB board to the top cover. Grasp the edges of the USB board, lift it off of the alignment pins, slide the external connectors out of the cutouts in the top cover, and remove. Replacement. Tow the external connectors on the USB board into the cutouts in the top cover and lower the USB board onto its alignment pins. Replace the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the USB board to the top cover. Reconnect the USB board ribbon cables to their ZIF connectors on the USB board. and press the locking bars down to lock the cables into place. Replace the mylar that covers the USB board ZIF connectors. How to replace the heat sink. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure battery, and system fan. Removal. In the numerical order indicated, remove the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the heat sink to the system board. Note, due to the adhesive quality of the thermal grease located between the heat sink and processor components, it may be necessary to move the heat sink from side to side to detach it from the system board. Lift the heat sink off of the system board and remove. Replacement. Note, before replacing the heat sink, the thermal grease should be replaced. The thermal grease should be replaced every time the heat sink is removed. Use alcohol and a soft cloth or an alcohol swab to clean all thermal grease off of the heat sink and processor. Use the thermal grease applicator to apply thermal grease to the processor. Align the screw holes on the heatsink with the standoffs on the system board and place the heatsink into position. In the numerical order indicated, replace the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the heatsink to the system board. How to replace the system board. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, M.2 solid state drive, system fan, and USB board. Removal. Peel back the black mylar that covers the connectors on the system board. 
Disconnect the following cables from their connectors on the system board. Speaker cable. Fingerprint reader ribbon cable. Keyboard ribbon cable. Touchpad ribbon cable. Backlight ribbon cable. Display panel cable. Webcam cable. Wireless LAN antenna cables. Remove the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Carefully lift the left edge of the system board off of its alignment pins. Guide the external connectors out of the cutouts in the top cover and place the system board down. Turn the system board around. And peel back the tape that covers the USB ribbon cable ZIF connectors. Using minimal force, lift the locking bars up and disconnect the two USB board ribbon cables from their ZIF connectors on the system board and set them aside for later replacement. Remove the system board. Replacement. Reconnect the two USB board ribbon cables to their ZIF connectors on the system board. and press the locking bars down to lock the cables into place. Turn the system board around. Tow the external connectors on the left side of the system board into the cutouts in the top cover and lower the system board into position on the top cover. Caution! Take care not to trap any of the cables between the system board and top cover. Replace the four P1 Phillips head screws that secure the system board to the top cover. Reconnect the following cables to their connectors on the system board. Speaker cable. Fingerprint reader ribbon cable. Keyboard ribbon cable. Touchpad ribbon cable. Backlight ribbon cable. Display panel cable. Webcam cable. Wireless LAN antenna cables. Smooth over the black mylar tape that covers the connectors on the system board. Important! After a system board replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required that may include verifying functionality of the Chromebook, updating DMI and other settings. How to replace the display panel assembly top cover with keyboard. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, M.2 solid state drive, system fan, and heatsink. Removal. Disconnect the following cables from their connectors on the system board. Display panel cable. Webcam cable. Wireless antenna cables. Remove the wireless antenna, webcam, and display panel cables from the routing channels on the top cover. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right hinge to the top cover. Open the right hinge. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left hinge to the top cover. Open the left hinge. Slide the alignment pins on the top cover out of the display panel hinges and remove. Replacement. Note, when installing a new top cover, you will need to remove all of the parts on the old top cover and install them on the new top cover. Slide the alignment pins on the top cover into the display panel hinges. Close the right hinge. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the right hinge to the top cover. Close the left hinge. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the left hinge to the top cover. 
Route the webcam, display panel, and wireless antenna cables into the routing channel along the top cover. Reconnect the following cables to their connectors on the system board. Display panel cable. Webcam cable. Wireless antenna cables. How to replace the hinge cap. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, M.2 solid state drive system fan, heat sink, and display panel assembly. Removal. Carefully squeeze the hinge cap to disengage the retention clips from the display bezel and display enclosure. Slide the hinge cap off of the hinges and remove. Replacement. Slide the hinge cap onto the hinges. Carefully apply pressure to the hinge cap to engage the retention clips to the display bezel and display enclosure. How to replace the display bezel. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, M.2 solid state drive, system fan, heat sink, display panel assembly, and hinge cap. Removal. Remove the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the display bezel to the display enclosure. Carefully separate the inside edges of the display bezel from the top, sides, and bottom to disengage it from the display enclosure. Important. The edges of the display bezel are held in place with adhesive. Take care when removing them from the display enclosure. It may be necessary to use a non-metallic flat-bladed tool to aid in the removal. Slide the display bezel out from under the hinges and remove. Replacement. Place the display bezel into position on the display enclosure. Firmly press down along the edges until the display bezel is fully attached to the display enclosure. Replace the three P1 Phillips head screws that secure the display bezel to the display enclosure. How to replace the display panel. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, M.2 solid state drive, system fan, heat sink, display panel assembly, hinge cap, and display bezel. Removal. Using a pair of tweezers, take a firm hold of the tab on the stretch release tape at the bottom left side of the panel. Carefully pull the stretch release tape from the top of the panel as horizontally as possible until the tape clears the display panel assembly. Caution: If you break the tape, it will be very difficult to remove the panel. The stretch release tape on the right side of the panel is removed in the same manner.
Carefully lift the display panel and turn it around. Peel back the fabric adhesive that secures the display panel cable to the display panel. Disconnect the display panel cable from the display panel. Remove the display panel. Replacement Insert the display panel cable into its connector on the display panel. and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Reattach the fabric adhesive over the display panel connector. Place new strips of stretch release tape on the locations marked on the display enclosure. Note: Refer to the service guide for the position of the stretch release tape. Position the display panel over its alignment pins on the display enclosure. Press down gently along the edges of the display panel to attach the adhesive strips and clips to the display enclosure. Route the display panel cable through the routing channel on the display enclosure. How to replace the hinges. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, M.2 solid state drive, system fan, heat sink, display panel assembly, hinge cap, display bezel, and display panel. Removal. Important. Make careful note of the routing of the wireless LAN antenna, webcam, and display panel cables through the hinges for later replacement. Remove the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the right hinge to the display enclosure. Remove the two P1 Phillips broadhead screws that secure the right hinge to the display enclosure. Lift the right hinge off of the alignment pins on the display enclosure and remove. The left hinge is removed in the same manner. Replacement. Place the right hinge into position on the display enclosure. Replace the two P1 Phillips broadhead screws that secure the right hinge to the display enclosure. Replace the P1 Phillips head screw that secures the right hinge to the display enclosure. The left hinge is replaced in the same manner. How to replace the display panel cable. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, M.2 solid state drive, system fan, heat sink, display panel assembly, hinge cap, display bezel, display panel, and right hinge. Removal. Remove the display panel cable from the routing channel and adhesive on the display enclosure. Remove the display panel cable. Replacement. Route the display panel cable along the routing channel on the display enclosure. Press down on the display panel cable to adhere it to the display enclosure. How to replace the webcam. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, M.2 solid state drive, system fan, heat sink, display panel assembly, hinge cap, and display bezel. Caution. Take care when removing the webcam from the display enclosure, as the adhesive that secures it to the display enclosure is very strong. Removal. 
Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the webcam ZIF connector. Using a non-metallic flat-bladed tool, gently release the webcam from the adhesive and alignment pins that secure it to the display enclosure. Disconnect the webcam ribbon cable from its ZIF connector on the webcam. Remove the webcam. Replacement. Reconnect the webcam ribbon cable to its ZIF connector on the webcam and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Place the webcam onto its alignment pins on the display enclosure. Gently apply pressure to the webcam to adhere it to the display enclosure. How to replace the display panel bracket. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, M.2 solid state drive, system fan, heat sink, display panel assembly, hinge cap, display bezel, display panel, and hinges. Removal. Remove the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the display panel bracket to the display enclosure. Release the display panel bracket from the retention clips on the display enclosure and remove. Replacement. Place the display panel bracket onto the retention clips on the display enclosure. Replace the two P1 Phillips head screws that secure the display panel bracket to the display enclosure. How to replace the webcam cable. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, M.2 solid state drive, system fan, heat sink, display panel assembly, hinge cap, display bezel, display panel, hinges, webcam, and display panel bracket. Removal. Carefully remove the webcam cable from the adhesive and routing channel on the display enclosure. Remove the webcam cable. Replacement. Place the webcam cable between the alignment markings on the display enclosure. Press down along the cable to reattach it to the adhesive on the display enclosure and guide it through the routing channel. How to replace the wireless LAN antennas. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, M.2 solid state drive, system fan, heat sink, display panel assembly, hinge cap, display bezel, display panel, hinges, webcam, display panel bracket, and webcam cable. Removal. Important, make careful note of the routing of the wireless antenna cables for later replacement. Remove the right wireless antenna cable from the routing channel on the display enclosure. Carefully peel back the metallic tape that secures the right wireless antenna transceiver to the display enclosure. Using a non-conductive flat-bladed tool, 
Remove the right wireless antenna transceiver from the display enclosure. The left wireless antenna is removed in the same manner. Replacement Caution! Use care when handling and installing the new antennas. Accidental bending of the antenna elements will detune the antennas and degrade Chromebook performance. Place the right wireless antenna transceiver into position and gently apply pressure to adhere it to the display enclosure. Carefully reattach the metallic tape that secures the right wireless antenna transceiver to the display enclosure. Route the right wireless antenna cable through the routing channel on the display enclosure. The left wireless antenna is replaced in the same manner. Click the Playlists tab in YouTube to find HP videos in other languages and search our channel to find official HP support videos.